Listen up team, we have a problem. As you can see, I mean, I'm sure you've already noticed it's, it's, it's not good guys. I woke up too damn good today. Too fine to, I mean, I mean, I mean, the makeup, the wig is behaving, the eyeshadow, the lipstick, the highlighter. Bitch, I'm too, I'm too distracting. I can feel your wallet just gravitating towards me through the screen. I, I can't help it. I, I don't know how to stop it. So, hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mia and I am a digital artist. I like to draw things. And today I'm going to be continuing my series, There Is Not Enough Blank in Anime. And today we're continuing There's Not Enough Indigenous Girls in Anime and that is the woman that I'm referencing. She is beautiful. She's Navajo, love her, love the picture. So I decided to draw her and I really wanted to pick something that is gorgeous and detailed. So I went with Violet Evergarden style. I don't think that I got there 100%. I think I'm like 70% there with this image, but I tried and I still think it came out really nice, really pretty, like someone I know. Anyways, I think it came out really nice. I hope you guys enjoy. I will be talking through this. If you wanna mute me, go ahead, feel free to do so. Listen to your own music. I do this series, There's Not Enough Blank Girls in Anime on TikTok at Sleeping Mia 145 and I also upload them on Instagram at Sleeping Mia 145. Um, same thing on Twitter. My Twitter is the same name, but Twitter has the added bonus of me also using it to roast racists. So let's get into it. I get started. I looked at a bunch of reference pictures of Violet Evergarden and just, you know, this anime style in general. Tried to pick out some of the, you know, the main features. I think that the eyes are really central, obviously, the style for the eyes. I think that a lot of the key frames that people share, um, a lot of the screenshots that people pass around of Violet Evergarden to show how pretty it is, it's always got the hair illuminated by like a bright white light. It has really extreme shadows. So that's one thing I did want to keep in mind. It also does have pretty detailed hair. And in this one, unlike in the Ghibli one, it's more encouraged to go crazier with some of the clothing details. So I'm doing the eyes. I use my own brushes, which I will link in the description down below. And I also wanted to go fairly like hairy, <laughs> for lack of a better word, for the eyebrows. By the way, if you hear weird noises um, in the background, it's my fiance, he's, he's cooking, so. I actually enjoyed doing the hair for this one. I don't normally like drawing hair. I don't, cause it's everywhere. It's a lot of trouble too much hoobly boo and I just don't have time for it. I don't have time. I got anime to watch. I got webtoons to read. Pokemon fan fiction to write. Anyways, I hated drawing these earrings. They're gorgeous, but oh my god, they were giving me the business. They were seriously beating my ass, but you know, it was worth it. Same thing with these accessories. These accessories were whooping my ass. But at least once you do one, then you can copy and paste. It just took a long time to do the one. Listen guys, it is taking every ounce of my self-control not to talk through this about the recent webtoon that I read. And I just need to know for real, okay? If you guys want webtoon and fanfiction rant videos because I gotta get it out of my system. I have to, but I, I don't. I don't want to put the effort into making a whole ass production out of it if no one wants to see. You know what I mean? So let me know, okay? Because I read a lot of webtoons. I can give you some recommendations. I can also just talk forever about bad webtoons. Oh my, don't get me started. Don't, I'm just filling in the flat colors. So I think I can talk through this, okay? Ooh, our Twitter, it's been zesty. There was, there was a couple different things going on. I mean, I guess there's always something going on on art Twitter that's part of the problem. It was like people getting called out for tracing, unofficial, 
like commissions. You know what I hate? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you, okay? I hate, I hate seeing artists who are non-black and they've really built a following on drawing black women, specifically dark-skinned black women. So the black community, black women love to support it. It's sadly a little bit rare. So they support it. And once these artists get popular, they never put the same energy back into the community. They never do. They're never retweeting, sharing, talking about black artists' work. They literally just profit off of the community and then that's it, they go. May have been able to buy your fancy penthouses, but you know what? You can't buy backed. Backed our respect. I don't know. Like the other day, someone drew a black Mario and it went a little viral. And a lot of people started pointing out that the artist who drew the black Mario, this was during the height of the black washing controversy. The artist who drew the black Mario wasn't black. And people pointed that out to say that it felt a little bit exploitative, exploitative, because they're not black and they, the last time they drew black characters was like five months before, but they just so happened to draw black Mario when it was really trending and then go viral. And they never share the artwork by black artists either. Like, I see, I see all the artists who are quiet during the drawing while black hashtag, but they're there during hashtag visible woman or hashtag portfolio day. I see you. Oh my God. Yikes. What do you do with your skin after you shed it? Because you're a snake. I'm just, I'm just talking through this whole thing. Listen, <laughs> my, my bad. Who is really watching this to learn? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try to describe my process. So I'm detailing the hair and I, like I said, I had a bit of fun with it, you know? Um, you, you do like a gradient and then you can go in with a much darker shade after you do the gradient. The highlight is where it matters the most. I like that the highlights in this show look a little like watery. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? They're like blah, 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 blah. And I just like how bright they are. The eyes are gorgeous. I recommend just zooming into a screenshot and looking at the eyes. They're really pretty. I mean, that's how you'll get the best reference for when you're doing it. It's similar-ish to how I used to do eyes before I started doing all these different styles. And I just did like a sky background because I don't know how, like I just thought it would look good and fit the style. And there's like really small finishing touches happening from this point on that are hard to see. You know, drawing stray hairs, adding a blur to the edges, calling up your mom, asking her what she's doing for dinner. Just a lot of like small things like that in this last portion. Now, I thought it came out pretty good actually. I am a little proud if I'm being honest. I thought she came out nice. I hope you guys like her too. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you win a million dollars. I hope a suitcase of money and bunny rabbits just falls into your lap. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so this way you don't miss another video in the future. Comment down below with anything you'd like to see or what you thought of this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. This was There's Not Enough Indigenous Girls in Anime in the style of Violet Evergarden. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye! Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I don't do this. You have something you want to say? Ah! Uh, it's <laughs>